Thanks for stopping by guys and welcome to Stormworks. Now for those who don't know what Stormworks is, Stormworks is a building base game that focuses around you building boats, planes, and helicopters with the intent of helping others, rescuing people, and pretty much saving the day on the open seas. Now, right now I'm playing in creative and I'm still learning some of the basics of the game. So, I've pretty much just been goofing around and building some ships. I haven't gotten into helicopters or planes yet, I've mostly been working with ships. So, I'm actually going to go ahead and look this way and try to ignore all the things behind me. Just ignore those, just ignore those. And let me get up to the actual... Uh, what are you going to call that? Bridge? There we go, yeah, that's, what, that's the word I'm thinking of. Bridge of the ship, the cockpit of the ship. And get in here. Come on, let me get the wheel. Nope, can't see it yet. Ready? Three, two, one. So these are the three ships I've built so far, starting on the right, because that was the first one I built. That is, actually it's a retrofit of the first thing I built. That is a speedboat. It's my small rescue craft. It's my general purpose, get there fast craft. Now, we'll look at it in more detail, so we're going to pass on to the one I'm in right now. This is the second craft I built. And it is, originally it was going to be my main base ship, my big ship, but I realized it's really not that big, at least not as big as you can build some of the ships in this game. So right now it sits as the cargo holder experiment ship, just things I've thrown on the deck just to see how they work, like it might be hard to see there's a door there that goes underneath the deck, I wanted to experiment and see how that worked with the game, and it actually does work. Now the third one over there is a aircraft carrier. I'm not sure if it's actually going to work. I really doubt it. But I thought I'd want to build an aircraft carrier. Best case scenario, I can actually use it as an aircraft carrier once I start building aircraft. Worst case scenario, it's just a really big ship I can do a lot of things with. So, with that being said, that was my idea. So we're going to actually hop out of this one and hop into the speedboat. I'm going to take it for a quick spin. To kind of show off some of its features. Now, before we actually drive it, I'm going to talk about some of the things on board. Now, one of the big ones is this is a directional spotlight. You can control it from the chair if you wish to. You can turn it on, and you can actually move it. So, if you have to search shores, search the water, you can do it to actually light up your way and see what it is you're trying to see. There we go, come back up, there we go. There we go. Now, also here is a small cargo area. Also, there's a few chairs, so if you have to rescue people, you can put them down here. Some area for cargo. Unfortunately, something I've noticed is this doorway, even though it looks really nice, isn't big enough to get most of the cargo that this game gives you. You can't get it through this doorway, unfortunately. So now the cockpit. The cockpit is where everything is at. Up here you do have your controls for the light up front. You have your start engine. You also have your night lights, so if you don't know what those are, just all those lights you see blinking as well as that little red blinker on the top. And this is your cruise control, so if you have you set to cruise, you can turn this on and just go. This is simply because I don't want to have to hold W and S when I'm going on long journeys, I want to be able to turn on the cruise control and roll. So we go, we're turning up to full throttle, and yes, this thing does pull out of the water quite badly. Great thing is, I'm holding full D. Not what that sounded like. But anyway, I'm holding full right, and I'm not rolling. And so far, I've not been able to roll this, even trying to. It looks like it might in some situations, but I've yet to get it to. I'm actually trying to roll this here. I might be able to, actually, looking at the way it is. But like I said, sometimes it looks like it's going to, but it just doesn't. I'm slightly swaying to the ship as well. 
So this is a pretty fast craft, as you can see, we're, we've already made quite a bit of distance, and I've been goofing around, I haven't even gone straight, so let's actually try and speed our way back. See how long it takes us to get there, because it's... Get, 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 get. I guess that's the whole intent of a speedboat, is it not? Now, my plans for this game, a lot of this game I actually just want to sit and build and then show those off like I did in the Scrap Mechanic. However, at the same time, this game does have missions and like a story mode, so I do want to do those as well at some point. So now we're just kind of here again. So let's see if we can park this up next to one of these bigger guys. Uh, we'll leave it here for now turn off the engine. I said turn off the engine. Thank you. And let's hop back onto this cargo boat. This, I guess to say, has been my most experimental ship. It says a lot of things on it which I just wanted to see if I could do. And I actually got them all to work. Oh, shit. Fell off the ladder. Let's get back on. There we go. So, starting from the front, the ship has three large spotlights. These cannot be controlled, but pretty much anything in front of you is going to get lit up. That being said, there's also a crane. I intended to use this to lift cargo up into this top deck. However, I have used this crane to tow a ship. Not the best idea, but it worked. Somewhat. If you've been on... Discord, you probably saw the picture I put up. I pretty much was dragging another ship alongside using the crane. But you can come back here and control it. And bring it down. And this here actually turns on the hook or the magnet that's on the end of it. And another good thing with this is there is a handle. So if you want to drag it around and bring it up to whatever it is you're hooking onto, you can. Going towards the back of the ship. This is a below deck experiment I ran. Basically, you can build below decks. This is actually like halfway underwater right now. But because there are doors, it considers it to be a closed off space and doesn't render water. Uh, actually, you can turn off the light. But either you don't have doors on here. Or, if you do have the doors open and water splashes over deck, it will fill up down there. And with these little vents, I do have a water purging system, so it does drain water out of here if it does get in. Which it really doesn't. I guess if it rains, maybe. I don't know how rain affects the whole water level thing. Coming back, a small bunk area for two people. And up here, a pretty barren bridge. Now in the back, I thought about putting a helipad, but I just haven't gotten around to it. So getting in the helm. This one does not have the uh, controls for the light like the other one had, but it does have... Oh, ooh, ooh, I forgot about that. I have a foghorn on here. Anyway, turn this on. Now this uses jet engines, so it's going to sound a lot different than the other one. And you still have your uh, cruise control, I forgot what to call it. Now, this cruise control only works in forward, does not work in reverse like the other one did. And the ship isn't as fast, I will admit, but this is one of the things I really like about this craft. Now, if you come down here, you'll see that when I turn, all of my fan blades turn. If you come up to the front, you can see there's three fan blades, and those turn when I turn. Which means this big craft can do this. I could pretty much turn on a dime with this big, huge beast of a ship. And that's what I love. I haven't implemented it on any other ship yet. However, I do plan to in the future. Okay, that's new. I've never rolled the ship before. This is the first time I've ever rolled it. And this ship cannot self-write note to self. This ship cannot self-write. That's, that, that, that's unfortunate. Wait, 
You can't self-right. I've had you nearly upside down before and you self-right. Oh god, I didn't have these doors closed. Oh, am I sinking? Please don't tell me I'm sinking. Oh, okay, I'm not gonna sink. Maybe, maybe not. Your ships can sink. This one's not sh sinking. I'm happy. But now I'm stranded. Oh god. <laughs> this is not the outcome I anticipated. Um. <laughs> Let's go and actually grab this ship. This should throw us back at the workbench with this ship. Hey, it did. So now we'll just grab this one, apparently. Huh. Nope, missed. Go ahead and come back here to the ladder. Now, honestly, I don't think this ship is going to work very well as an aircraft carrier. Why are some of my... Oh, it's just the lighting. I was about to say, why is some of my paint not on this craft anymore? It's just because of the lighting effects. Anyway. I intended this to look like an aircraft carrier. I'm not sure how well it's going to work as an aircraft carrier. So, with that being said, if I end up not using it as an aircraft carrier, I'll probably figure out something to do with it. Because I really like how this looks. This one sits higher in the water than all the other ones. Which I do like. The other ones sit pretty close to the water. This one uses just a standard uh, blades with... What are those? Rudders? Yeah, rudders. You think I'd know what I'm talking about considering I've played this game for a decent amount of time. But apparently I still don't remember any of the names of shit nautical wise. Let's see. Toggle. This turns on all my lights. My runway lights which look beautiful at night. Speaking of looking beautiful at night, it's now night time. What else? What else? Foghorn. Can't have a foghorn. Oh yeah, that's my cruise control. Da, 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 da. I just finished building the ship and I forget half the features I put into it. Actually, I was about to say, maybe we can rescue our other ship over here, but unfortunately, I have no way to actually flip ships. could ram it. We'd always try ramming it. That would test how well the game works with two large objects colliding. Now, I know this big, huge behemoth shouldn't be able to flip. There's so much weight underneath that it really can't flip. Okay, I'm going to have to turn off cruise for this. So we're gonna try ramming this thing and seeing what happens. Now some other things I do want to say about the ship. The ship is mostly hollow actually and given the experiments I did with the cargo ship that I'm trying to unflip, I know I can actually put below deck structures so maybe hangers if I can figure out how to do it. as well as other structures. Um, no, I think I'm just sinking it more. We're moving it? Maybe I can get it back towards... Nope, that's going to take way too long. Huh. I don't want to strand this thing, but I also don't want to try and flip this, because I don't know how to. Hmm. Now those lights underwater look beautiful. Oh, come on. I think we're starting to flip it. Come on. Nope, we're just pushing it around, unfortunately. Oh, well, we'll leave it to sink and we'll figure it out later. Anyway, that is going to be the end of this episode. So, I really love this game. I really want to play more of it and I hope you guys enjoy it as well. So I'm going to end it here. If you did enjoy this episode, please let me know with a comment down below or with a like. Right now, shares out the channel the most. So if you do want to help out this channel, please share this episode with a friend. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for sticking around. And until next time, peace.